Please describe your job title and primary duties. So my job title was um, the customer service representative, and my duties include um, just taking orders, um, not only taking orders, uh, but ensuring that they actually um, get to the customer. So they will, they will first order, and then I'll, I'll see a screen where it tells me what they ordered, and I will like, you know, check it off if they got the food or not. They will time us to make sure we did it in an orderly manner. And when there was like slow in the drive through I mean not in drive through in the, in the cashier, in the front desk, they, uh, they had you clean. Um, sometimes if it was too slow, they just have you go into the drive through assisting the other person. What was the work environment like? Oh, it was, it was busy. Like, there was no downtime. Um, how it works is, like, you're pretty much part of an assembly line. Um, you're, you're the forefront. You're the one directly interacting with the customer. So you, you take the initial orders and you give them back. But the thing is, you can't focus on another um, co-worker's job. You have to focus solely on yours. It's not only so busy, but they built the system in a way that it works most efficiently when you, when you make sure you take care of your job to the fullest extent, because someone else is taking care of their own job to the fullest extent. Please describe a typical work day. Okay, so you, you get in there, you, you clock in, they have a whole little system through the computer. Um, then they give you a, a, cash, a cash register and you count the money in there. Usually make sure it's like 100, 120 bucks because they're going to track how much money you're like, making. Or like, you know, if someone's trying to steal money, they know what's up. Um, from there, um, as customers come through, you have a screen of a series of, like, of uh, little menu items and you just click them. And then you, as you make the order, you cash them out. And then um, you just wait in a little area where the food will disappear because you know, there's other people working as well. Um, then you bag it up properly and make sure it's not messy. You try to present it nicely. You hand it to the, the customer and check it off. And you keep, just repeat the cycle over and over. How would you describe the application and interview process? OK, so the applications. McDonald's are one of those guys who make you do it at the location. It's just show that you're willing to go out of your way to try to apply for this position. Once you do the application, um, what I did personally is uh, I actually spoke to the manager myself after I finished it. Um, they say, just come back in a week or so. I came back, talked to them. Usually they try to weed you out because some people never come back. So you come back, you talk to him, then he schedules a formal interview with you. Um, after that formal interview, it's just like they take you to a little seat in, inside the restaurant, ask you a few questions, um, past experience. Um, again, how can you um, help the team grow? They put you in some scenarios and you try to, try to tackle them. And depending on your answers, they'll give you the yes or no right there and then. Um, and they have a, like, a pretty high veneration rate. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta show a little more effort because people come and go. What should an applicant wear to the job interview? So it, it was pretty much business casual, you know, a button up shirt, um, dress pants, you know, loafers or just dress shoes. And just make sure, you know, you shower before, you know, keep the, keep the clean shave. That's part of their uniform is clean shaven. So you gotta try to maintain that image. What other advice would you give to a job seeker looking to gain employment? Oh, be ready to like constantly work. There's no off time until your lunch break. Like McDonald's, as people know, is one of the busiest like uh, like fast food restaurants in like the, the business. So one, you gotta be ready to deal with a lot of people. Two, sometimes people are gonna be very rude. Um, I don't know why. There's like this whole stereotype associated with these kind of chains. But in the end, you have your you have your coworkers, and the environment's just happy in general. <laughs>